We turn to congressional reaction to the report now with the chairman of the House Democratic Caucus. He is Representative Hakeem Jeffries of New York. He's also a member of the Judiciary Committee. Congressman Jeffries, thank you very much for talking with us. President Trump says this proves again that he's exonerated. Well, the president is completely clueless, and once again, he's lying to the American people. If anything, the Mueller report is exactly the opposite. It is incredibly deeply troubling, the information that's contained in that report. The president, pursuant to the United States Constitution, is charged with faithfully executing the laws of the United States of America. The information in the Mueller report reveals that in at least 10 instances, the president likely engaged in obstruction of justice. That is a serious crime. What we need to do uh, now is hear from Bob Mueller so that the American people can make a determination for themselves as to how we proceed to bring about some accountability. Well, I want to ask you about uh, what the Congress's role is next. But at this point, do you accept the special counsel's, counsel's finding that there are, are no more indictments to come of uh, either the president himself or anybody close to him? Uh, yes, Bob Mueller, as we've maintained from the very beginning, uh, is a highly respected law enforcement professional. I believe he conducted himself in an appropriate fashion as it relates to how he handled this investigation. Uh, I take him at his word with respect to his conclusion uh, that the acts that occurred as between the Trump campaign and Russian operatives didn't rise to the level of being able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that there was a criminal conspiracy that existed. Uh, but also take seriously the allegations that he laid out and the information that was presented with respect to the acts of obstruction of justice. And now we have to take that information, get the underlying documentation, and eventually hear from him before the House Judiciary Committee. So you're saying you don't accept his conclusion that he couldn't, or rather, you don't accept what he said, that he couldn't reach a conclusion about whether or not there was obstruction of justice committed? Well, what appears to be uh, the conclusion that he reached is that, uh, based on a variety of different factors, including longstanding Department of Justice practice, uh, that you cannot indict a sitting president, along with uh, the observation that, notwithstanding that fact, they were going to preserve the evidence of obstruction of justice for both Congress and, presumably, uh, a future Department of Justice to consider once Donald Trump is no longer president of the United States of America. To me, that's not the end. That's just the beginning of what needs to come next. So when you say you, you're going to call the special counsel, Bob Mueller, before the Congress, what do you think you can get from him that he hasn't already laid out? He spent two years working on this report. What more do you think you can, you can hear from him, learn from him? It's a great question. One, we don't have the underlying documentation uh, in this exhaustive report. Uh, we also have only been presented with a redacted version that was undertaken by the attorney general, who clearly is not acting like the people's attorney. He's acting like Trump's publicist. So at this particular point in time, we can't simply accept the redacted version of what was presented to Congress and the American people today. Uh, we need an unredacted version. We need the underlying documentation. And ultimately, we need Bob Mueller to explain the report to the American people and the principal findings and conclusions. So when you say the whole report, I mean, as you know, the redacted portions include grand jury testimony. It includes uh, material that we are told is, is uh, confidential. It's part of intelligence or intelligence gathering. You're saying you want to just basically ignore those concerns, those restrictions? Well, there are two things. Uh, with respect to Congress, uh, we have high levels of security clearance, and so any member of Congress should be able to review the report in its entirety. With respect to the American people, uh, the House Democrats have been very clear that we accept the notion that redactions are appropriate in order to protect sources and methods connected to the intelligence community uh, so that we can continue to promote the safety and security of the American people. However, as you know, with respect to grand jury material, that's a very different story. There is a presumption of privacy. However, the law permits that presumption to be overcome 
when there is a compelling public interest. Seventeen different intelligence agencies concluded that Russia attacked our democracy and interfered with our election to try and artificially place Donald Trump at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. To me, this whole scenario involves a compelling public interest. That's why we need more information, not less. And is that something that would potentially lead, in your opinion, to impeachment proceedings? Well, impeachment is still off the table as it relates to how we are going to proceed. We just want to methodically collect the information. Nancy Pelosi has been very clear with respect to impeachment. She's laid out a standard that I accept and support, uh, which is that the case must be compelling, the evidence should be overwhelming, and the sentiment around impeachment must be bipartisan. We've gotten a lot closer to the case uh, perhaps being compelling, the evidence is being developed, uh, but we still haven't hit the third prong uh, where public sentiment suggests that to have a president who is engaged in this type of potential criminality is no longer acceptable. We'll see how the American people process the information over the next few weeks, but that's why it's important for us to hear from Bob Mueller directly. But you're saying that what, what, what happens after the Congress hears from, from uh, the special counsel is, is something that could lead to prosecuting the president or finding him uh, or trying to remove him from office? No. Well, the Department of Justice has been very clear at this particular point in time, which is to say uh, that a sitting president cannot be prosecuted pursuant to Justice Department practice. I accept that uh, as the situation that we find ourselves in. In terms of presidential accountability, uh, I don't think that we as potential decision makers on the House Judiciary Committee uh, should come to any conclusions until we've gathered all of the information, and that's going to include a report free of some of the redactions that are probably overly broad. That will include the underlying documentation that will include hearing from Bob Mueller. Right. Until we get to that point, um, it's premature to discuss the potential of pursuing impeachment proceedings against the president. Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, the chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, we thank you. Thank you very much.